Okay, um, I'm gonna bring this way up. So I'm gonna import. I guess I'm actually gonna, I should just turn on live link for this. I'm so used to using, Bl Blender doesn't have a live link, so I just completely forget that it exists sometimes. Um, give this a minute. Okay, um, I'm gonna do this. Just so it doesn't uh, bug everybody, I'm just gonna turn that up. Okay. And uh, we can start to put some stuff on here. So the one that I find works best for the fairway, uh, we're going to do 3D grass. And this, is, I will say this, this is going to be a lot of 3D grass, like, you know, debatably more than it needs. Um, let's do this. And let's rotate it 90 degrees. And then that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good start there. Let's maybe turn that down. Grass looks really big. Let's just gonna do that. Uh, maybe that's a little bit. Okay, that's good enough. Um, and then we're gonna do. We're just gonna keep putting three D grass on here. You know, you could optimize it a bit better, but you know, whatever. We're just having some fun. Um, clean cut grass, maybe. Now it needs to be longer than that. Let's do, let's do wild grass and just bring it down. Something like that. And then out here, we're gonna have the actual uh, wild grass. This also needs to be a lot lighter. Um, yeah, let's bring that up a little bit. Um, let's do wild grass too. And then, yeah, that, so that's looking longer than that. This needs to just be lighter as well, though. So we'll just bring this up a touch. And uh, then we're going to just change the sand here. Uh, Evermotion sand. Uh, these are massive sand bunkers. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I didn't read that right. Like... Is this maybe that's just out of bounds or something? That seems like a hilariously big sand trap. So yeah, I'm not sure what uh, exactly that is, but uh, as you can see, all that stuff changed, so that's looking pretty good. Um, we do need to get some water in here though, so we're gonna make this a dirt texture. Um, not water, sorry. Uh, need dirt. Just do soil. Doesn't really matter. Um, and then we're gonna put a water plane under that. Landscape. Uh, water. Place that here. We'll say this is uh, not dirt, but pond. Probably not going to be able to see it too, too much, but bring this over here and we just bring it up. Uh, so maybe I did that. Ah, oh well. I guess that's uh, that's just how it's going to be. So I guess it's, I, I wanted it to be a little more flat. I guess that's kind of just the nature of uh, how we're doing it, but okay, good. Uh, then what I do like to do for this is. Um, Obviously more 3D grass, but we're just going to have like uh, clean cut grass, I think, for this one. Um, and then that's looking pretty good, but I think it needs to come up a little bit. And the lightness, like that. And um, I think clean cut grass again. We'll just make it shorter. So I think we go like grass size. Something like that. Then we'll just cut it. So it's like that. And then make that quite bright. And yeah, you know, you can you can mess around with this just to get it exactly how you need it. Um, You know, it's, th there's a bunch of stuff, but I think that for the purpose of this, it's okay. Maybe I will try something. Um, clean cut grass. Let me see if it works better with the wild grass. Um, cutting that down. Yeah, I think that might work a bit better. Um, 
yeah, you know, you, you can just see I'm kind of I'm just playing around with it. Like, there's no really set way of doing it, but um, this needs to come up too because you don't want like I'm not sure why it does it, but it seems like it's like it like kind of calls the grass in a weird way. So you just want to make sure that that's high enough that it's not gonna mess up too much. And whatever, good enough. Okay. So yeah, that's uh that's coming together. Uh out here we'll just put like we won't put 3D grass, we'll just put like ground or something like that. Um maybe something like that. All right, and now we can just start to add some trees in, things like that. This uh you know, we can kind of throw in like some little uh we'll we'll make like some little wooden blocks here. Um, so yeah, we'll just use the first T, we won't use the other two. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a line like this. Oops. Just go like this. All right, and I'll just make this a group. Maybe we'll make it a component. Uh, whatever. Um, okay, so this one, I guess I'll just make like this color doesn't matter we're going to be moving this around um, and then I'm just going to go like this and maybe like that I'm just going to push this one out and then that's good enough um, then I'm going to just duplicate this over so like this All right so it's facing out so we'll go okay and then I'll come right here we'll just make these like some kind of white material um, wood maybe, um, should be fine. Something like that. Right, yeah. And like I said, like there there's so many things that you can do. Like you can add in mega scans and all that stuff. Like uh, there was one project I think I did a while back that I played around with that. This is just like kind of like the quick way of doing it. Um and there wasn't really anything that I found at least of people making golf courses. So I'm probably going to get a little more elaborate with this. This is just kind of like the beginner one. Um but let me just throw in some random things. So I'll just put like a a dead tree right in the middle of the fairway because people love to do that for some reason. Um actually, let's do this one instead tree seems a little more dickish um so we'll just uh get rid of that and then i might just paint on some trees and maybe put some fine nature ones like right in the foreground um i get something i guess I, I could have done a little better with this one is the actual um the elevations weren't as much as i thought they're gonna be uh so i definitely could have made them a little more um pronounced i guess uh so Bring this down a little bit, I think. Something like that. Yeah, and then we'll just paint the rest of them on. Um, so we'll go nature. Um, we'll do this. Oops. We'll just add in some other trees here. Um, we'll do... Doesn't matter. Like I said, we're just gonna we're gonna be just dropping stuff all around, um, and then English oak, I guess, whatever. So we'll just do these trees, um, and then yeah, I'll just uh, increase the number, direction, randomize this. Yeah, so what I kind of like to do with this is like to place everything and then just kind of cut it all out. So I'll do this again. And then I'm just going to go through and delete the trees that kind of shouldn't be there. Like the ones that are in the bunkers and stuff like that. Um, maybe I'll lower this one a little bit. Okay.
I, I find this is fastest because you can't paint with multiple trees at once. And like I find it kind of gets a little weird when you do it like that. Um, so that should be good. Right. And then we'll just go through and we'll uh, just, uh, grab all the trees that are kind of in the way here. We, we don't have to grab all of them. Um, but, you know, we'll just kind of do this. Bang, clean some of that up. And these ones aren't really like right in the right in the way. Um, I probably will just drop some more kind of in that area, just a little bit smaller. Um, and yeah, so that's basically all I'm going to go ahead and do. Um, these ones I kind of want to clear out a bit just so that we have a bit of a view of like the water here. Um, Yeah, then what I'll probably do for the background is just drop like clusters in just to kind of make sure that there's no like, um, you just can't see the horizon line. Um, yeah, I'll just get rid of that like that. And yeah, I'll just clean these up. And okay, so I think Oh, I guess I need to clean this one up too. Um, Right. Yeah. And so I'll make a little animation. Um, you know, maybe actually something I will do quickly because this is just small. So I'll um, go right here, draw a circle. I'll just get rid of this. Actually, can I pull it? Yeah, I'll just pull it down. Something like that. And then I'll put a little pin coming out of it. Um, doesn't really matter. How tall is this? I think maybe like nine feet. Should do the trick. Um, right. So then what we'll do is we will throw on this. The grass is looking a little bit, I guess, like beat up. Like you could definitely make it look a bit better if you play around with it, but it should be fine. Uh, I'll just make this aluminum. Uh, actually, I'll make this dirt as well. And this metal aluminum doesn't have to be perfect. And yeah, then we just need a flag. So content, I think it's outdoor. Um, and if you didn't know this, you can actually um, you can actually replace the image on the flag, but for some reason, it's like bugged out and it like won't do it. So like, let's say I throw this on. Oh, oops. Uh, we just want single placement. So if you click on this, you're supposed to be able to like cha choose the color map. So like this wasn't working. Yeah, for some reason, it's not updating. Like normally this should replace it. So I guess I got a flag of Brazil for my golf course. Um, but yeah, I I'm not, I think that that's a bug. So I, I think I'm going to put some feedback in with that because um, I was going to put the company logo on, but I can't for some reason. So yeah, I'm not sure what uh, what that is. Actually, I am going to change this just because I want a red flag. Uh, green blends in a little too well. Um, I guess let's do this one. It's a little more square. All right, so yeah, you got to get the point. Um, the last thing I have to do is just do uh, some clusters. And then uh, I think this one's uh, kind of wrapped up. You know, there's... <laughs> I. It's kind of weird. Like, I feel like there's a lot of things I could have done better with this, but like, I think, like I said, I think this is good enough just for quickly going through it. Like I'd probably be like sculpting the landscape a little bit more, but I think that that kind of gets the point across I wanted to make. Uh, clusters. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, th okay, this is the one I wanted. Do this. All right, so let's see kind of where we're at with this. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll play around with that. Um, that's kind of like the one, the one image. Um, so I'll just render this out as like a thumbnail or something. And uh, then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a quick animation, maybe going down the golf course. So like, we'll start here. And then I'll just have it kind of zip through here. Maybe make it like 20 seconds, see how fast that goes. Okay, yeah, I mean, good enough. Uh, maybe I'll do one that's like, uh, maybe actually I'll have it up a little bit more. So I'll just go. Maybe here. I'll have it zoom up here. Something like this. Oh, oops. All right, let's see how this kind of looks if we just do this quick. Yeah, 35 seconds. Yeah, it's kind of a long video, but I think it'd be kind of cool just to see that. So then I think I, I got it. It's just going to spin a little bit here. That way you can kind of see a little bit more of the. Yeah, not bad. Um, Like I said, there's there's quite a bit more you can do. I can't I keep saying that, but it, it is true. Like, um, you know, I'll probably render this out maybe once or twice, do some tests. I just don't want the grass to kind of look like this. Like I might need to make it longer than I wanted it to just because like I don't want it to render like with that sort of look to it. Um, which I'm afraid it might. Um All right, so maybe I'll just uh yeah, I'll play around with it. Um, let me know what you guys think. This is a little bit different than I normally do. Like I said, I'm kind of working through, like normally I'd kind of do this and then film the video, but I kind of wanted to just like work through things and see if like people kind of like it. They're watching me like troubleshoot it and like just see me run into some issues like that. Um, and yeah, so I, this is something I want to practice a lot with because I think that Lumion is really good for doing golf courses, especially if you just want to talk about like certain layouts, um, just to kind of show like maybe some of the big hazards that you kind of could see how fast I did this. Like I was doing this not an optimized way and it was like maybe an hour uh, just over it. So, um, yeah, let me know uh, what you guys think. Um, if you found the video interesting, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button and uh, come join me for some future videos. If you are subscribed, thank you very much for supporting the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night. Bye.